Hi guys, welcome to Ahmad Logs channel. Today, I will show you how to program STM32 using USB cable and Arduino IDE. The board I am using in this project is STM32F1 development board. It is also known as Blue Pill due to its blue color. Blue Pill has powerful 32-bit ARM processor with the clock speed of 72 megahertz and it has 20 kilobytes of RAM and 64 kilobytes of flash memory. That's why it is much powerful than Arduino. There are two onboard LEDs, one, red color, is used for power indication, and the other, green color, is connected to the GPIO pin, PC13. Also the mini USB port on the development board was left totally unused. The reason for this is, when the STM32 development board is purchased, it does not come with an Arduino bootloader, and hence, the board will not be discovered by the computer, when connected through the USB. To program the STM32 blue pill board directly through USB port, we need to first flash the Maple bootloader into the MCU. For this, you need a USB to TTL module. You might also use SparkFun FTDI breakout board. Connect the 5 volt of USB TTL module to 5 volt pin of STM32. Connect ground to ground. RX pin of USB TTL module to STM32, PA9 pin, which is referred as TX and TX pin of USB TTL module to STM32, PA10 pin, which is referred as RX. Make sure, the boot zero jumper is set to programming mode, while uploading the bootloader. Now connect the USB to TTL module to the computer. Next step is to download, STM32 flasher tool from this website. I will put the download link in the description. For downloading, enter your name and email. The download link will be sent on your email. After downloading, install the flasher tool. After installation complete, it will look something like this. Next, download the bootloader bin file from this GitHub page. For blue pill board, download this binary file, generic boot 20 pc 13bin Then, click here to download the bootloader bin file. After that, go to the flasher tool. Here, select the COM port on our USB to TTL module is connected and then click on next. Here you can see target device is readable. This is our STM32 blue pill device. Then click next. STM32 device will automatically selected here. Then, just click on next. Here, select download to device. Then, click on three dots here. And then, browse to the location of bootloader file we have downloaded before. Then select the bin file. And click open. After that, click on next. That's it. The bootloader is flashed successfully. Now, disconnect the USB to TTL module from computer. And connect it using USB cable. Then, open device manager. Here, look for COM port. Here you can see the STM32 is connected on COM port 14. Next step is to update the COM port driver. For that, go to this page and download the STM32 Arduino package by clicking here. Next, go to the download folder and browse to driver folder. And then, install this file named install drivers.bat. It will take some time to install the drivers. After installation is completed, go to Arduino IDE. Here click on Tools. And then, COM port. Here you can see, Maple Mini, on COM port 14, it's mean the driver installation is successful. This is an Arduino Blink sketch. Here, I have added the download links for all the resources, required for this project. I will put the link in description of the video. Next step is to install STM32 board. For that, copy the following URL. Then go to File. Preferences. And then. Click on, Additional Board URL. Here, paste the link. And then click on, OK. And then, click on Tools. Then Board. And then, Boards Manager. Here, search for STM32. Here is our required board. Select the latest version, and install it. I have already installed. So, I just click on Close. Now. Again click on Tools. Then Board. Then STM32 Boards. Then select the Generic STM32F103C series. 
please check carefully, you have to select the same setting for STM32 blue pill board. Make sure, you have selected the correct COM port. Now, STM32 blue pill is ready to upload the code. Next, I have set the PC13 pin as built in LED. Because blue pill on board LED is attached to PC13 pin. Before uploading the code, make sure, the boot zero jumper is set back to operating mode. Now, upload the code by clicking here. The code is uploaded successfully, and you can see the upload status here. Here, you can see the green LED is blinks. That's it. This is for today. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in another video. Bye.